Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next attack strategy video. And this is the one for HGHB, which stands for Hog Giant Healer Bowler. Um, it's kind of an extension of the HGH, which you used to see a little while back, kind of before Valks got popular. Uh, something that's kind of been around here and there, but recently it's gotten very popular at Town Hall 9, and it's very effective. Uh, starting to go through kind of the basics of the attack, we'll look at some replays. Uh, but anyway, just to put the attack strategy in its simplest terms, sorry about that. Uh, in its simplest terms, what you do is you send in a kill squad that has typically like 10, 12 giants, 4 healers, uh, your heroes, and then a group of bowlers. Uh, obviously you have to create the funnel, but then from there you're sending that kill squad in, and the power is in the healers and the rage spells, because... Uh, the air defenses, if you move through quick enough, you don't have to worry about the air defenses getting your healers, especially with the range of the bowlers. They can take out a lot of air defenses along with the queen uh, that are a few uh, spaces away. So as long as the healers stay up and they're uh, under a rage spell, because uh, typically you bring two, even three ra uh, rages sometimes, they can keep your giants, uh, your bowlers, your queen, your king, they can keep all that up because uh, especially the non-hero troops because they do so much heal uh, to the just regular troops so that's kind of the power of it notice how none of the attackers will be using jump spells because you're sending in this kill squad and you have the funnel created but unlike some attacks you might not know exactly where your troops are going to choose to go but you're going to let them beat through the wall usually the giants in a group of like 10 giants uh, even 12 they'll do enough damage to to get through a wall somewhat quickly especially with the bowlers and the king and everything behind them so don't bring jumps usually for this instead just load up on rages and heals and uh, you're sending in your kill squad typically at the hero compartment especially if both heroes are together that's even better but as long as you go at the queen initially that the that's the important part uh, you're going at the queen you come in uh, from there you're just going into the core of the base and as, as your troops just move through the base, uh, you're going to deploy your hogs where uh, your kill squad doesn't go. Uh, you can sprinkle a few in on like distracted defenses because that's always great value. But uh, your kill squad is going to uh, go past some of the base and leave it untouched. That's where you can send in a large group of hogs with a heal. And uh, because your kill squad only requires typically like two rages, uh, you're allowed to you know bring two heals for a small group of hogs, which is pretty significant, two heals for like 12 to 16 hogs. So you put down the heal on the uh, big group of defenses that are up, where you send in your main groups of hogs. And uh, this will make a little more sense when I show the attacks, but we'll keep talking through it. Let's go ahead and get this first one going though. Uh, to give an example, this is Fahim, and all of these are from our last war against uh, the Asian clan that got the win. But anyway, I'm not sure what this was. This is like the only part of the attack I'm not sure about. Sends in a few hogs. Maybe you get the CC lure, uh, but at least he gets the funnel created, sort of. Gets one building taken out, but barring that kind of weird thing right there, uh, has a baby dragon for the funnel, which is uh, great. Uh, takes out that uh, gold storage. There goes the queen, nothing can hit her. And then here come the giants. Uh, keep them together because that way they'll get the splash heal. And uh, he drops a poison right here, I believe, which help slow down the heroes. The heroes don't do a ton of damage to dragons, but these are 30-30, and both heroes are on the giants. So they're starting to go down a little bit quicker, uh, but the poison helps, and uh, he goes ahead and sends in his DPS troops, which will take out the heroes pretty quickly. Uses that first rage, and what you wanna do is drop the rage on your troops, not the healers, and let the healers kinda of fly into it as they move forward. So rage up your troops first, and the healers will get the aftermath of the rage. But anyway, has the poison for the CC troops, you can see they move through very quickly, and the healers are getting everything back to full health. Uh, typically, this strategy allows you to save your king and your queen's ability for quite a while, because they'll always uh, kind of be uh, being healed, usually. Uh, there's that next rage, they'll, and watch how he drops it ahead of the uh, healers on his troops. Um, now, the healers do kind of peel off on those bowlers, but the bowlers uh, make their way back to the main group, and then everything's busting through walls, no need for jumps. And look at those hogs, a few hogs just to flank some of these defenses, the bowler's helping out too, and he's saving his main group and his heals for some of the larger groups of defenses, because um, eventually your troops will kind of get spread out here like they did, the bowler's going one way, the king going one way, the queen another, 
Uh, so when this happens, you know you're getting close to sending in your hogs, and uh, those giants just started tanking for the uh, point defense there, so he goes ahead and sends in his hogs. Uh, no threat of double giant bomb sets. That's another great thing about the strategy, is you can just kind of pick and choose where you send in your hogs, avoiding the double giant bomb spots. Uh, but all the hogs moving along, still has one heal left, and uh, to be honest, I think he had plenty of time too, so uh, even if these hogs somehow died, he still has all those healers, his heroes, uh, the um, the bowlers, the giants, everything moving through. So really kind of uh, crushed this base, just totally crushed it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, nice attack to Fahim, uh, and that giant bomb does go off, but just one defense left, and uh, it goes down right there. So anyway, uh, we'll take a look at two more attacks to kind of illustrate what exactly you're going to be doing, but... I hope this makes a little more sense now, having seen the first attack, and we'll move on to the second one. Alright, we're looking at number 25 for this second example, uh, Iceman, and uh, he has the 30-30 heroes, but you don't necessarily need that. Um, i say as long as your heroes are, mi you know, low, mid, like, medium-low to, to max, you're good. I mean, very low-level heroes might not be that good, because... A lot of your DPS needs to come from your heroes, but uh, if you just bring some wizards, you have the bowlers, uh, you should be okay. So anyway, uh, goes ahead attacking the queen compartment. You can see the king is actually on the other side of the base, but no big deal. Uh, as long as he gets the queen first, that's good. The king does get very low right there, but he doesn't pop the ability because he knows those raged healers will get the king back up. Uh, Everything is kind of all together right there, which is getting the uh, great value for those healers. And then those air defenses do go down right there. So like I said, if you come through the base quickly, uh, you, you don't have to worry about air defenses. I think you might lose like one healer, but no big deal. Uh, there's that next rage. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, healers kind of peel off on the bowlers, which will happen. Um, not a whole lot you can do besides try to attack uh, in a way that everything is going to stay kind of together. But uh, right here, I think the bowlers are going to reroute. And uh, at least a few of those healers are going back up to the giants, which is probably the most important thing to heal the giants and uh, the king, the queen, uh, because the giants are going to do most of your tanking for you. So anyway, everything moving forward still has saved the king's ability because uh, the, the healers are back on the king now. Doesn't have to use the ability quite yet. And then one healer is over on that last bowler, but it goes down. So anyway, uh, the attack kind of shifts off to the left, which will happen. Like I said, it's very unpredictable where these troops are going to go. But still, I wouldn't bring the jump or the quakes even uh, because you can... Even if your troops kind of go in a weird pathing, then you have your hogs for the other part of the base. And uh, right there, another, another gy double giant bomb set going off. And uh, I think he sends in like a f two hogs there, which grab that archer tower. Um, the bowlers are awesome because they can kind of swing over these walls and uh, take out some buildings while everything's stuck on the walls. Uh, but it's good actually when stuff gets clumped up on the walls uh, because the healers have time to heal them in one large group. Whereas if you bring a jump, uh, things get spread out, the faster troops move quicker, and uh, the healers can't heal everything at the same time. So sometimes it's actually good for your troops to get stuck up on a wall. So anyway, uh, group, or the hog's moving through. You can see he still has one heal that he really doesn't even need, but goes ahead and drops it. Uh, this shows the power of this attack strategy, because things just really don't die when those healers are on them. And uh, having the hogs and like two heal spells is typically way more than you're even going to need to finish off a base. So nice attack uh, by Iceman. Let's like look at one more and then we'll wrap up this attack strategy video. Okay, at number 33, is that what that says? Yeah, 33. Uh, oh, this Iceman again? Yeah. Yeah, another attack by Iceman, but uh, he's been using this very effectively. So let's take a look at one more by him. And uh, you can see... The heroes are together on this base, which doesn't make a huge difference, but it's nice to get that king taken out early too, because uh, it's just less of a problem for your hogs, because uh, you only have like 12, 14 hogs, so um, you don't want them to have to take on a hero all by themselves. Uh, so anyway, comes in, has some wall breakers, doesn't even really need them, because the wall is pretty much already opened up. Uh, but right there, uh, he could have poisoned that queen, not a huge deal, sometimes you want to use one poison on the heroes. Uh, but she goes down so quickly anyway, it doesn't really matter. He goes ahead and saves the poisons for the CC troops. Uh, his queen goes into the base, which is huge, because unless you're bringing some wizards or something, she's your only uh, air targeting unit. So if there's a dragon, you pretty much need her to take that out along with the poisons. And the dragon does go down very quickly. Uh, moves through this base very fast. You can see 
uh, the Giants, the Bowlers, the King, all up on that wall. And like I said, they're getting clumped up, so they're getting the, the splash heal. Uh, right there, the healers move into that next heal, uh, triggering another double giant bomb set. And uh, you can see how quickly they actually move through this base and how really none of the troops are dying yet. Um, they're starting to go down right here a little bit. But here come the hogs, and like I said, sending them in where the kill squad doesn't go, uh, taking out that little group of defenses down at the bottom there. No, no real risk for a double giant bomb set. And uh, it's coming in with the last few hogs. Still has a heal in the bag, which I don't even know if he drops because it's already over. Uh, this base is crushed, absolutely destroyed, and uh, just a few corner builders have to take care of. But anyway, yeah, one heal in the bag just shows how powerful this attack strategy can be. There's actually a triple double jump, triple giant bomb set, which is interesting. But anyway, yeah, shows how powerful this attack strategy can be if you do it right. Um, definitely something I've been seeing a lot more lately because these bowlers are pretty powerful. A, a level three bowler at Town Hall Nine, uh, especially when it's sitting back behind some giants and uh, has some healers on it, it can do some work. So uh, crush this base. Great attacks by uh, Iceman and the first attacker was Fahim, I think. So yeah, good attacks to those guys. Um, just wanted to show this in one video so you guys get the idea of what to do in your wars and hopefully it's something you guys can use. Uh, mainly just a Town Hall 9 thing, not really Town Hall 10 because of the infernos, it complicates everything. So uh, Town Hall 9 attack strategy, very effective. Uh, try it in some friendly challenges, even if you don't want to do it in war yet. Try some friendly challenges and uh, see how that goes and maybe you can uh, implement it into your war arsenal. So anyway, thanks for watching though. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.